Hello Pokemon fans and welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. I am Brasscoin and today I am hunting more Diglett for the Isle of Armor expansion pass for Pokemon Sword and Shield. The areas that have been done on this channel thus far are the Training Lowlands, Warm Up Cave, Pot Bottom Desert, the Challenge Road, the Brawler's Cave, and Workout Sea, which is the one we finished last time. Since I finished out in the sea, I figured why not continue on to the Stepping Stone Sea, the Insular Sea, and if we have time, the Honeycomb Sea at the very end. So I am at the entrance right there above my head to Loop Lagoon, and over off yonder there is a island in which you can trade the Galarica Twigs for the Galarica Cuff to evolve Slowpoke into Slowbro. I'm on this little small island here. I don't know what shape it is. It's kind of ovular. It has a rock and a den on it. The diglet is going to be found in the middle of all this, the first diglet. So we'll go and pick him up here on the smaller end of this ovular island. And there are seven diglet in this area to find. We found one, we have six more to go. The next two are going to be found by taking a right and bypassing this den and heading to this small island with this rock in it. These are actually right next to each other, so very hard to miss. And we'll collect Diglett 2 and 3 in rapid succession. There is Diglett 2, 5 more to be found. Diglett 3, which leaves 4 more to be found for this area. The final 4 are going to be found on that island with the two trees there really easy this area is it's just a little bit more of a time consuming deal to hop from island to island to get to where you need to go uh, these two islands have a den in between them but nothing of note you can't go on them just ride your bike in between them there is a tm or i guess a tr up here i believe it's blizzard and it is right next to the first diglet that we are going to go after I guess it would technically be the fourth diglet we're going to go after, but the first for this isle. So, crap. Hurricane is what it is, not Blizzard, it's Hurricane. Wish it was Blizzard. Blizzard's better. In my humble opinion. But, that is our fourth diglet. Three more to go. We'll just continue by circling around this giant boulder here to find our next diglet just to the right. All right, five Diglett down, two more to go. And so we're going to angle right past this tree and head towards the other tree and stop right about these red flowers. There's going to be our next Diglett. That is Diglett number six of seven. So we have one more to find. Turn right from there, just slightly and bypass this tree. And there is our last Diglett for the Stepping Stone Sea. We get a nice, nice little message saying we found all of them. All right, to get to the insular sea from here, we're going to drop down this ledge and turn left and circle around the island a little bit and head towards this lone island with the singular tree poking up. I'm gonna pass, bypass a den. There are six diglet in the insular sea three on this island that we're heading to, and three on the smaller island off to the right. There is one on the beach, and two on the mainland proper, I believe. To get to the one on the beach, I'm just going to circle around until I find it. I believe it's on the back portion of the beach. So if you can line yourself up with that tower, this diglet is going to be right in front of it. So that is diglet number one of six. We still have five more to go. There is one in one of these patches of red. We're going to turn right, bypass the den, and go straight to this one. And there you can see he's by my left foot.
From here, the third diglet on this island is directly behind us through that grass. If I can try to navigate through the mess of Pokemon, I should run right into it by these two rocks next to this green patch of foliage. And there is the third and final diglet for this island. We still have three more in the insular sea proper, so we will exit the island and go to the next one. We actually only have to click on one diglet on this island, so that's cool. We get a three for one when we find it. Naturally, that means it's actually a Doug Trio. So somewhere along the line, three of his diglet combined to form one Doug Trio, but it still gives us three diglet worth. And there's the Doug Trio. So, Doug Trio returned to its trainer. You found all the Diglett that are in the Insular Sea. All right, from our little outcropping here, we're going to ride our bike across the water straight past Honeycomb Island, or Honey Calm Island, to get to the one and only island that's actually in the Honey Calm Sea. There is one Diglett on this island and two in another location off the coast, but Honeycomb Island actually has a Diglett counter of its own, so we're going to skip that for now and just focus on finishing up the rest of the sea-based Diglett hunting places. So now we're back in the Honeycomb Sea after a slight detour to that island apparently because it thought we were on it for whatever reason. Must have passed its boundaries. There is one island, one diglet on this little island, if you can call it that, just on the far side here. And there are two more diglet to find for a total of three. So we turn right, follow our bigger island wall towards the coast, I guess, the little bike path up towards that den. We'll find two diglet our last two diglet for this area. If we hit this wall and kind of stay along it, we'll find the second diglet of the Honeycomb Sea area. And there's still one more, so follow it all the way up till it ends. And we find our third and final diglet for the Honeycomb Sea area. So far, we have already conquered the Training Lowlands, the Warm-Up Cave, the Pop Bottom Desert, Challenge Road, Brawler's Cave, the Workout Sea, the Stepping Stone Sea, the Insular Sea, and the Honeycomb Sea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking on, for sure, the Honeycomb Island. And if we have time, we may be able to tackle some of the other areas as well. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.